Uncovering your true purpose after walking away. In this video, take the first step to finding your true purpose and discover the strength to keep going after you have walked away. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. There is a greater motivation, almost a true purpose after you walk away from the wrong person, partner and relationship. Some purposes may include moving on, breaking free, attracting healthier relationships, saving your future and living a happier life. However, initially and eventually, the true purpose of walking away from somebody is to never go back to them. For example, in the past, I dated a toxic person and had a toxic relationship with them as a result. I walked away twice in the several years we dated. The first time I walked away, I hardly knew anything about toxic people, narcissists, etc. I took the blame for the failure of our relationship and sole responsibility. I said to myself, it's all my fault it failed. I'm the problem. We weren't that bad. I made everything go wrong. However, I did try to move on to date other women, to forget about them, but unsurprisingly, the toxic person slowly lured me back in, back into contact with them, back into seeing them, back into dating them. And as a result, I went on to waste more of my precious life and years with the wrong person. The final time I walked away, however, I did so with the sole purpose of never going back to them ever again. Fool me once, shame on you. For me twice, shame on me. As a result of this true purpose, happiness, freedom, far less stress and drama and better relationships came my way and into my life. Here is how to stay away after walking away. Remember, that is your true purpose. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. Whoever you're walking away from, you must avoid any contact with them at all costs. As somebody myself who was hoovered back into a toxic relationship, no matter how stern you are or tough you might be feeling, they will prey on your weakness. Initially, the first time we split up and when I was throwing myself an almighty pity party, I was feeling very low, upset, and I had low self-esteem. I felt like a romantic failure, aka the relationship failed despite how much effort I put into saving it. The biggest mistake of it all was I never blocked their number. They reached out and they contacted me sporadically. I'd be at the gym or I'd be at the movies or I'd be with friends and I'd get texts like, I miss you, I need you, I love you. I would receive countless missed calls, even from block numbers too, knowing full well that it was my ex reaching out. And seeing those messages, and even emails, it was slowly tipping me over the edge. I was once on a date with a completely new woman, and there and then my phone went off, and it was my ex reaching out again, almost knowing telepathically I was moving on. This date said to me, Is that your ex calling? You don't still love her, do you? I have no idea, I responded. After being worn down for weeks, I did finally respond to her. I finally spoke to the ex. Before I knew it, we were back together again. Same old issues, problems and situations, only much worse and their behaviour was totally out of control and unacceptable too. But it was my fault. My true purpose was to avoid all contact with that person. And when I finally walked away, I blocked and deleted all details, refusing to ever go back again. Please avoid all contact. If you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. You must acknowledge and accept however hard and difficult it might be that this really is the end of the road. This is it, it's over, it's done. Whoever they are, no matter what they've done to you, what they meant to you, what they said to you, this is the end. 
and walking away not just physically but also emotionally is the only option every single person even the kindest and most forgiving has a limit a boundary and a line that must not be crossed jenny went to a destination wedding with a toxic boyfriend they dated for years but she was miserable had emotionally checked out he constantly let her down disrespected her mistreated her and more finally at the wedding and on the special day her boyfriend got very drunk and made a fool of himself already on edge and feeling so miserable she watched him go onto the dance floor and attempt to try it on and flirt with other women in front of her eyes she confronted him they had a big full-blown argument on the dance floor at another person's wedding i'm done this is the end screamed jenny with tears in her eyes she went back to the hotel packed her suitcase and took the next flight home alone that literally was it for her she moved out of the apartment they shared she blocked him and she never saw or spoke to him again if you make the fatal mistake that you think walking away is going to make another person change for the better well i'm so sorry to tell you this but you are wrong very wrong this is the end of the road you should recognize and feel this that the only option to take is on the chin even if it hurts so bad take the defeat and please walk away thanks to better help for sponsoring this video i've personally used better help and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better now better help is therapy online which offers weekly sessions via phone, video, and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit though, you can switch therapists really easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. So click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. Forgive yourself after walking away, but not in a harsh or critical manner. Whilst it takes two to tango, understand you're walking away from the wrong person. You'll never be good enough for the wrong person. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do this in a healthy way. We all make mistakes, we're human, and no one is perfect. Therefore, acknowledge that dating or persisting with a toxic or difficult person was a mistake that you made. It might have been a moment of weakness. You may have been manipulated. But understand and accept that mistakes are a part of life. Toxic and difficult people are notorious liars who live fake meaningless lives they go on to sell you and everyone else around dreams which you might have believed to be true and that's okay just accept their liars and everything they told you is probably a lie by walking away you now have the most precious gift and that's your freedom back the freedom to do what you want say what you want live how you want these people are now gone and good riddance to them so please embrace your freedom by not forgiving yourself though, you run the serious risk of not keeping to that true purpose, which is to stay away. You might start thinking the following, better the devil you know, love conquers all, family must stick together, maybe I'm treating them badly and too harshly, perhaps I'm the problem, but I don't want to be alone. You must stop those thoughts immediately. That's a slippery slope of going back to the wrong person again. So instead, practice self-love and compassion for yourself. Forgive yourself for letting your guard down and ultimately letting the wrong person control and dictate your life. Please don't linger on negative thoughts about the person you're walking away from. I'm sure you have every right to feel hard done by, but playing the victim for too long is dangerous and it doesn't align with your true purpose. Remember, we want to stay away forever and walking away is the first step, but reminding yourself too much can make you fall into a trap 
a state of fear, anxiety. It will stall your growth by fixating in a victimhood mentality. A woman walked away from her toxic partner who used to abuse her for years. They got divorced, she blocked him, refuses to be anywhere near him. However, she never moved on and persists to play the victim and how hard done by she was by her now ex-husband. He treated me wrong, was awful to me, I had it so bad. She's been single for 12 years. And rather than emotionally walk away, she still acts and behaves like he's in her life. When he's very much gone, and he's actually moved on and remarried and is very happy. Yes, I talk very negatively about those I've personally walked away from. But I've also moved on. I'm dating someone new. I'm happy. I've made new friends. I've designed a new life without the wrong people in it anymore. That for me personally aligns with the true purpose and motivation of walking away. So please stop playing the victim to set yourself free of the mental torture you're most likely putting yourself under.